Okay, uh, we're here with Freddie Laker. Freddie is the director of digital strategy for Sapien. So Freddie, uh, Sapien's been in the news recently. Uh, you guys acquired a traditional agency, uh, Nitro. Um, this is a little bit of a man bites dog story. What, uh, what's the background? Uh, you know, it's a pretty exciting time for us. Uh, you, you know, people, I think, are, are not used to seeing this, this type of uh, uh, acquisition happen. Obviously, you know, every time you hear about you know, some holding company gobbling up some new digital shops, seems to be the only news as of late. Um, you know, Sapien's got a pretty massive digital marketing services operation, um, even if it does fly below the radar pretty often. Uh, you know, you start partnering with that with the ability for us to start moving above the line and, and servicing clients in a new way, um, all under one roof. I'm, I'm not really aware of anyone else doing something like that. A great, a great example, uh, you know, using some of the Nitro work just at the Lions, um, you know, I know they've been shortlisted in, in direct and they've been shortlisted in PR, they've been shortlisted in media. Um, I don't know about the cyber line yet, but I'm, I'm really hoping that we'll have some stuff shortlisted there and also potentially point of sale. Um, for a Coca-Cola Coca -Cola UVEN project. I don't think there's a single agency in the world that would be shortlisted in so many different categories, maybe a network, but not an agency. Um, I think that's pretty reflective of what the new offering is going to be like. So what does it say for the state of sort of digital agencies? I mean, I mean, does it say that, you know, being digital is not enough? You know, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if it is uh, uh, enough just to be digital anymore or just to be traditional. I mean, uh, I could tell you that uh, our perspective is the concept of digital agencies maybe got a three, four, ma maybe five year lifespan. Uh, I think to, to say you're just a digital shop in, in four or five years is going to pigeonhole you. Um, you know, the reality is all these uh, traditional guys, they're moving down this way and you know, we're moving in this way. Um, and I think they've really struggled to become more digital. Um, because you know, internet usage and things like that doesn't come quite as intuitively to people who've been working in the broadcast space. Um, I think you know, working with broadcast and, and media that we've been exposed to all our life, uh, it's pretty easy for digital people to, to understand it and, and understand how it might integrate. So I think it's going to be a less challenging road for us. So we're here in uh, Canada at a strange time. Um, you know, every week we hear about layoffs at more agencies and Understandably, the question keeps coming up, you know, does can still matter? Where do you fall? Hmm, strong opinion on that one. So, uh, I think can definitely still matters. Uh, you know, e even though there's, I think, less submissions than there were before, uh, the, the, you know, the people are still doing the best work and the agencies are still going strong. Um, they're still submitting their work here. And, uh, you know, if you look at, like, the Clio's, the One Show, um, I think they're very skewed towards, towards the U.S., um, basically because of the volume of U.S. and U.K. judges. Um, you know, you take something like the Lions, it's one vote per country. They're getting more digital cyber submissions than almost any other category at this point. Um, and I believe that they have the, the opportunity to be kind of the, you know, last great champions of, of you know, uh, great digital work. Uh, another thing to point out there as far as, you know, Ken's relevancy in, in all advertising, um, even with a, a lower attendance this year, uh, you know, and all these great people are here. I think it's just kind of filtered out um, some of the hangers on. So maybe there are less people here, but the people that I, I get inspired by and enjoy being so, you know, so, so much each year, they're still here and it just makes me a little easier to find them now. Okay, so what's your choice for like best campaign? What's the best thing you've seen? Uh, I would say, and I swear to God this is not a biased opinion, I've been uh, watching them long before uh, I heard about the acquisition, uh, Cummings Nitro. Uh, best job in the world, you know, Queensland, uh, Queensland Tourism Board. I just thought it was brilliant. I, I loved how simple it was. Um, I thought that you know the way that they, they released it and seeded the campaign was great. And uh, from what I've heard, you know, they had a, just over a million uh, dollar budget, and you know, looking at over 300 million in, uh, in media exposure at this point, and I just, I just never see anything go that, that big before. So it's, it's pretty wild. Okay, what are you most excited, excited for uh, in the coming year? Uh, I have to, now that now that the Cummings guys, the Nitro Cummings guys, are uh, you know part of the family, it's actually to me uh, hopefully hanging out with them tonight. I've uh, extremely high hopes that they get a, a Grand Prix tonight, or you know, and worst case scenario, maybe a gold, or maybe a couple golds. You never know. So, uh, two things I love: uh, one is hanging out with Aussies. They're crazy and make some fun to go out with any night of the week. And you partner that with some Aussies who potentially may have just won a Grand Prix or a gold at Con. You're looking for a really good night out. Awesome. So pity me tomorrow. Okay. Thanks a lot, Freddie. Cool.